Well, hello, this is your weekly wisdom from the book of Proverbs. And today we're thinking about the keys to success. People like to use the, talk about the key to success. It's not a key, it's a lot more than that. But there's some keys to success that we learn about in Proverbs chapter 2. So listen to these words from Proverbs 2, verses 7 through 9. He holds success in store for the upright. He is a shield to those whose walk is blameless. For he guards the course of the just and protects the way of his faithful ones. Then you will understand what is right and just and fair, every good path. If you want to experience success and flourishing in your life, Wisdom says there's a certain pathway to go. There's certain keys that will unlock that door of success in your life, of flourishing. And, and first, understand this, that God holds success in His hands. Success is not getting all I want. Success is actually becoming fully what God wants me to be. And the pathway to success is paved with God's wisdom. So we have a part in this. God doesn't just impart on us success or impart on us wisdom. But there's ways that we live in conditions of our heart that this passage talks about that kind of open up and unleash God's wisdom. So listen to verse 7. Verse 7 says this, He holds success in store for the upright. He is a shield to those whose walk is blameless. So, how do we move towards a successful life? Proverbs says, be upright and be blameless. Now, if you thought I was going to say, work super hard, show up on time, find the perfect job, and you'll be successful, well, there's something underneath that. There's sort of something that, that, that under, uh, undergirds all of our life and this idea of uprightness and blamelessness. What's your character? What's your heart? Success doesn't become just because you work hard. Success becomes part of our lives because we're upright and blameless in God's sight. I believe in any, in any enterprise in life, if you're going to succeed over the long haul, blamelessness, righteousness, living for God will actually help you, not work against you. And then in verse 8 we read this, For he guards the course of the just and protects the way of his faithful ones. Justice. And here I'm talking about biblical justice. Treating people with dignity, with love, with respect. Being a bringer of justice. We often think about justice as, as changing the whole world. But biblically, justice is loving each person the way that God loves them. So in whatever work environment you're in, in whatever educational environment you're in, uh, if you want to be successful, Seek to be a person who lives with justice, treating people fairly, with dignity, in a way that honors Jesus. And then faithfulness. Listen to verse 8 again. It says, For he guards the course of the just and protects the way of his faithful ones. You want to be successful? Be faithful to the people around you. Be faithful to God in whatever you do. And that's part of what paves the way for success. And then verse 8 again. It says, for he guards the course of the just and protects the way of his faithful ones. Then you will understand what is right and just and fair, every good path. Uh, what is the path to success? It's righteousness. It's blamelessness. It's faithfulness. It's following Jesus. Because success isn't having more money or a nicer car or a certain degree on your wall. In the world's eyes, that's success. Success is becoming who God has made you to be. So let God change your character, change your heart as you grow in, in blamelessness, as you grow in holiness, as you exercise justice in every relationship. You can scream about what's unjust in the world, but if you're not treating the person next to you with justice, you really don't have a lot of right to talk about the ends of the earth. How about next door? So let's walk in those ways and see how God then leads us on a path to success where we become exactly who God wants us to be. There's nothing more successful than that. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, thank you that you lead us to success, that your wisdom will guide us, but we're partners with you in that. May we, go, may, may we grow in uprightness and blamelessness. May we exercise justice and care for others. And God, will you then, by your Spirit, make us who you want us to be, that we might become all you've designed for us. And Lord, let success be that we look at ourselves and say, I am who Jesus has made me to be. We pray this would become a reality in our lives. In Jesus, your name, amen. Have a great day.